Hello, Gemini, and welcome to Fifi and Gigi's tarot reading. So, Gemini, today I'll be doing a reading on what is it exactly that you need to know, and this will cover anything that the cards do want to say. So, we're relying heavily on the cards. So, yes, today I'll be using the Tarot of Owls and the Spellcasters Tarot. If you do wish to purchase your index, that's down below in the description box. I only do recommend the best. So, thank you so much, Gemini, for joining me. Super excited to do your reading. I hope you all had a fantastic weekend. Let's have a look, Gemini. What is it that you need to know? Beautiful Gemini. Okay, what is it that Gemini needs to know, please? First card, we do have the Nine of Wands. Okay, so this card does represent the current situation here. Gemini, look, I get it. You've had your battles in the past. You've had your ups and downs, your setbacks. But the thing is, you're still in defense mode. You kind of like have your walls up, kind of like always looking over your shoulder, just like this owl here. And I'm sure you have your reasons also may have had issues with past relationships, work-related issues, family, whatever it is. You have life experience, definitely. You know what it's like to be let down, what it's like to have even your heart broken. So sometimes you may have your walls up in the sense that someone does approach you, you're like, what do you want? <laughs> you know, you're already questioning if someone's coming up to you. You'd rather be left alone. Um. However, though, Jim and I, we do need to lower our walls. We need to bring down this wall in order to start letting people in. Remember, you are allowed to complain. You are allowed to get angry. What's happened in the past, but you are not allowed to give up. You're not allowed to give up on all the things that you're passionate about. That's just a big no-no, Jim and I. If we look at your challenge, okay. Or your block. So we do have the Ten of Pentacles here. The Ten of Pentacles. So obviously the Ten of Pen Pentacles, as a challenge, it does show that there could be some financial issues here, Gemini, in the sense um, there could be issues with money in the sense that you're trying to perhaps save, but maybe there have been unexpected expenses, um, just or you, you don't see where your money is going at the moment. For example, it may be a little bit hard to forecast what's going on with your money, and you want to get a handle on your money. You want to be able to really control, really manage your money properly here. Let's have a look at the past. Past seems really good. Wheel of Fortune, Major Arcana. So there has been major luck with money. Some of you may have been in a position where you were lucky to get a particular job, mon money, perhaps a winning uh, competition, cash prize money with the Wheel of Fortune. So the past has been good, but some of you are finding it a little bit difficult to handle your money. Perhaps you want to ma make money work for you, but you're probably a little bit unsure, perhaps. Let's have a look. Let's look further. What is the foundation of this reading? Wow, excellent. We do have the Nine of Cups. This is the minor arcana of the star. So wish fulfillment, a reason to raise your glass, a reason to be super happy, Gemini. So I'm liking the foundation. The foundation of your overall energy here is pretty much, I'm going to say, amazing. Now, just as a side note, some of you may be pregnant. Yep. Nine cups represents nine months giving birth in nine months. So for, not for all of you, but some of you may be pregnant. Also, the nine of cups just represents celebrating the milestones, celebrating anything that you accomplish. I don't care how big or small. You have a reason to raise your glass, a reason to celebrate here. And again, whatever situation you do get invited to, Gemini, say yes. If people invite you to an event or whatever it is, say yes. And you have a reason to smile again, a reason just to be super happy. Look at the difference. I mean, from the Nine of Cups to the Nine of Wands. So we're seeing lots of nines now already. If we look at your thoughts, okay, so we do have the Three of Pentacles. Beautiful card. 
So if you look at this card very carefully, the owls are collaborating, sharing ideas. So you have great ideas, Gemini, that you want to share with. Perhaps there's a... Sometimes when we see collaboration of team, it can mean two things. So it's a good career card. So if you want to get involved in perhaps a particular field where there's a lot of team players, you're going to be a great team player, Gemini, because you've got the ideas and the other team players, even colleagues, they love and share your idea. It's like you're matching and mirroring them. Three of Pentacles is also great for relationship. Any particular partners that want to get into business also, like um, husband and wife maybe, or they just want to get together, maybe start a venture, a business, an online perhaps business. It's an excellent card for collaboration because remember, this card represents thoughts. So you have the ideas to make money out of nothing, Gemini. You've got great ideas. Listen to them. You may sometimes think, oh, that's a silly idea. No, 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 no. You've got great, great ideas that people will understand and think, you know what? I like this idea, Gemini. We should do this. Let's pursue it. Um, in the near future. Hmm. So we do have the Six of Cups here. Beautiful card here. I love this card. Six of Cups. So if we look at the cups, it's super important, Gemini, to start reconnecting with your inner child here. There's a couple of meanings behind this. Start to also have fun. Start to enjoy life more. I feel like there may be someone from your past, maybe a childhood friend that may come back and may start a brand new friendship, a relationship. It could be also someone that you haven't heard from in a while, someone that you've been waiting on also will come back into the picture. This is an excellent card. It's also just reminding you to start reconnecting and connecting with friends, start, start to have more fun. And if you also look, the owls are in the field, so we need to get out there more. We need to Get, a, get outside, see the sunshine, breathe in that fresh, fresh oxygen. We need to just get out more. So let's have a look at your self-perception, self how you see yourself. Excellent. So we do have the Ace of Wands. Beautiful card. This is reminding you, Gemini, you always have the power, the energy, the power to manifest anything that you are passionate about. Just ask yourself for this very moment, Gemini, what are you passionate about? What is, what is it that you want to accomplish this year for 2024? Because you can do it. Your angels are reminding you with the Ace of Wands. This is beautiful. This, is, this can definitely work out for you. Absolutely. Don't let your fears, though, hold you back because you can do it. Absolutely. You can. And the thing is, with, when the Ace of Wands does show up, if we know exactly what is it that we want and we're passionate about it, we need to take action too. We need to just go for it, have that perseverance. Now, with the Ace of Wands, if anyone's also watching this and is also pregnant, yes, there is a chance of um, having a baby boy. Baby boy, nine months. Yep. Let's have a look at the external or in your environment. We also have now the Seven of Cups. So. Choices in your current environment or any external factors that's influencing your current situation, you're going to be presented with lots of choices. And sometimes with the Seven of Cups, we may feel overwhelmed. We may feel there's too many choices. I have too many options. I'm afraid of making the wrong decision. It's okay, Gemini. We just need to come, we need to ground ourselves and make a decision from your head, not from your heart. Look at the pros and the cons. What feels more right? Um, what? Uh, look at advantages, disadvantages. Weigh out everything. Look at everything before you make a decision. Of course, if it feels right, go for it. Absolutely. If we look at your hopes and fears, mm, so we do have the Eight of Pentacles. First of all, look at the owl polishing the pentacle. What this means, Gemini, you have talent. You have talent. You have skills. You have the gift of the gap. You know how to work the room, I'm going to say. But you've got talent, capabilities. 
And you may be afraid that it can happen. Like, for example, when you have a particular skill, am I going to get the job in that field? Am I going to get paid enough? Of course, yes. This card is showing that you are definitely going to get paid exactly what you are worth because of your skills and your contribution. Because I do feel for some of you, you've got your head in the books, like you're researching, perfecting your skill. Excellent. Yes, people will see this and wishes will be granted, just like the Nine of Cups. Yes, definitely wishes will be granted and you will get paid for your skills and capabilities. They're going to see the input, what you can bring to the table. Trust me, they will. Outcome. Excellent. So we do have the Page of Swords. Page of Swords. Gemini, you are a curious, very curious human being. You're curious by nature. So this is the card when you get out there into the field. You get out there, you venture out, you go on a journey with curiosity. As you can see, this very young owl with the, obviously, we have the sword, we have the, the heart here. Very curious to venture out into the real world here. Now, a couple of things. For those who are also trying to get into a particular field, trying to break through into an industry, be careful with your social media. Be careful with what you share because people will be looking at your social media. Yes, because this is the card of spying. People looking at your social media before they hire you to make sure that you're not posting inappropriate things, for example. There may be some challenging news also, but Welcome these challenging news. So let me give you, what's the challenge in you? What am I getting out here? So for example, no, I just, because it is just above the eight of pentacles, you may receive a job interview, but you may be required to do more, or you may be required to do something that you don't really want to do. Welcome it. If it gets your foot in the door, just accept it, Gemini, and go for it. So be curious, be open-minded with the Page of Swords, because there will be messages coming your way. Because we're talking about the Page of Swords, this is more like through email. Email eventually will lead to probably Zoom or face-to-face. -face. However, though, Gemini, I will be getting some clarification cards using the Spellcaster's Tarot. Let's have a look. What is it? How can we understand more about this reading, please? Okay, let's have a look, Gemini. <clears throat> For those who are new, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe because every week you get two readings, one from myself and the other one from Fifi. If you wish to learn tarot, please visit fifigigitarot.com. We have a master tarot course there, which is self-paced, that includes workbooks and videos for you to download. Okay. Okay. All right, Gemini, the nine of wands. So you're defensive, quite guarded. You also have the queen of swords. So this is you, Gemini. People should not poke a Gemini. They just shouldn't. No. Gemini is fierce. Gemini, I mean, this is the only queen holds a weapon, the sword. Gemini will cut someone's head off, then ask questions, metaphorically speaking, actually. <laughs> but I always say, don't, don't, like, seriously, don't play games with a Gemini, okay? Now, the Queen of Swords does show that someone that has been through a lot, but they show a very stoic appearance. The Queen of Swords has had her battles. However, though, she does not waste time. Absolutely not. She doesn't fluff around with emotions. No, she just wants results. She does not play games and she expects others not to play games. And not surprised why you also have the nine of wands because people have been wasting your time playing games, just being very foolish. So of course you get upset. You get to the point that these people are wasting my time. That's what I'm picking up. Wasting time. Time wasters, actually. It's all good, Gemini. We do need to bring down our walls a bit. 
And of course, we need to be a little bit more open, a bit more soft. And I, I totally understand that. I can really sympathize with you. If we look at the challenge with the 10 of pentacles, we also have, yeah, the seven. Here we go. Seven of cups here. Now, the seven of cups has come out twice now. So you may feel the challenge, may, you may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed in the sense of money, how to prioritize money. Because you do have choices and options here. You can see all the cups, all the cups here. I guess sometimes emotions can run high. There is no money loss, which is good, Gemini. You're trying your best to handle your money here. But because this has come as a challenge, what we need to do then is really ground ourselves and make a decision when it comes to money, make a decision from your head, listen to your intuition, but remove the emotions here to be able to handle your money better. It's kind of like getting your affairs in order here. The Wheel of Fortune also confirmed with the Six of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups has come out twice now. Yep, there's definitely a friend in the past that's contacted you. You may have run into this person in the park, in person, like face-to-face, -face, and it was just out of luck. This person now is definitely coming back into the future. Oh, yeah. It's like the Wheel of Fortune. It's like it was meant to happen. When we do see the Wheel of Fortune, don't forget that. That is your spirit team working in the backgrounds for the divine timing, for this to happen. It was You had to meet this person for some reason. Let's get into it. Nine of Cups, celebrations, two of Pentacles. So it's the end of juggling money here. Nine of Cups, you're celebrating but it's also the end of juggling your money when you're kind of like surviving, not living. So this is going to go away. Notice it's also just above also your challenge with money. Now, money's going to be excellent now. It's gonna, You're going to be able to breathe, Gemini. You're like, oh my God, finally I can relax a bit. I can put down my shoulders. And you're even going to celebrate that. It's like, oh, finally, we've got like some deal that's happening here. The three of pentacles, so the ideas that you like of collaborating, being involved with the team. What do we have? Yeah. We also have the three of swords. Now, despite despite all your setbacks, Gemini, you're still going to collaborate because you've had heartbreak in the past, definitely. You've had the heartbreak. You've had difficult people to work with, definitely. Very, very difficult people, but Gemini, it's okay. Sometimes we may run into troubled people that just want to be difficult, just to be difficult. Don't worry. You still have great ideas. You, and again, sometimes not everyone is going to agree. Not everyone's going to say yes. That's okay. But you do have a support group of people that will be happy for you. Now, Six of Cups. What's the Six of Cups? Interesting justice, a contract. There's definitely a contract here. Something, that, something for you to sign. There's definitely someone coming back from your past, and you're going to be signing a contract. This can be a lawyer that you're dealing with, perhaps, but this person's not just anybody. You might even consider this person a friend. You can definitely trust this person. There are no challenging cards um, with this contract. No, not at all. Because this person definitely means well. This could be a business contract. This could be employment contract, a marriage contract. Whatever it is, it's definitely in your favor, Gemini. You have nothing to worry about. The Ace of Wands, yes. So your self-perception reminding you, reminding you, Gemini, hey, you are the package. You've got it all. Wow. The Ten of Pentacles. This has come out twice. So. Jim and I just want to come back here. Your challenge here was the 10 of pentacles. Whatever money, money you've lost, whatever money you've invested or you feel like you've lost, don't worry, you're going to get it back. Because something's happening here. Whatever contract you may be signing or whatever celebration that's happening here, you're going to get all your money back. This is all thanks to your hard work. You're not just sitting back and waiting for the world. No, you're going after the world here. That's what's happening. You're really stepping up. 
because you're a fighter. You refuse to give up. That's the issue. Just remember with the nine of wands that the first one that came out here, like I said before, you're allowed to cry. You're allowed to throw a tantrum, but you are not allowed to give up. So you're really fighting for your dreams here. There's something that you're fighting for, Gemini. The seven of cups. Wow. There's excellent news coming towards you with the eight of wands. Eight of wands could be coming from overseas into state. It is definitely crossing some mountains here. So where you currently are, Gemini, there's going to be a huge shift. And you may be presented with more than one offer here. That's why you have the seven of cups. There's messages fast. This is like really fast energy. It's coming towards you and be like, oh my God, is this really happening? And I feel like it may come as quite a shock. You may be required to travel also. It may be just be unexpected where you have to buy a plane ticket and you have to go because this is an opportunity you cannot miss. The Eight of Pentacles, hopes and any fears. So again, you have a capability that you're going to get paid really well for. Temperance, beautiful. Major Arcana, the angel of love and devotion. Gemini, you're going to be you're going to be in a really good place. Temperance is about having that balance in the sense, okay, I can now work, I've got my career, but I can also enjoy my life. I can enjoy the money I'm getting paid for and maybe pamper myself, go away for the weekend, whatever it is that you love to do, Gemini. The outcome, the page of swords. Mm -hmm, yeah, lovers, beautiful. You know what? I have a feeling you might meet someone in your career because you may be, I feel like some of you are a single. Yeah, you're going to meet someone with the lovers through work. This could also be the ultimate partner, like in business, also a partner for love, your life partner, Gemini. This person just admires you. They get you. You share the same values. You're kind of like an inspiration though, Gemini, because I feel like, I don't know, I'm picking up this person is just a bit wowed by you because you're... Just so different compared to the people that this person has gone out with before. You're just, I'm getting the word different. You're just so different. You're just like, it's like this person is very taken aback by your charm, your beauty, your enthusiasm, your the way you speak, the way you carry yourself and how you fight for your dreams, whatever it is that you're, you want to pursue. Amazing. I'm also going to take out another card. You also have the tower. Your life is going to change this year, Gemini. Remember the tower is your shake-up or your surprise. You're going to receive quite a message. It's like, you'll be like, is this really happening? Is this too good to be true? And I get a lot of people, when they do see the, the tower, they think, oh, it's something really, really bad. Not necessarily. If it's surrounded by positive cards, it's a beautiful shock. It's something that, oh, wow. <laughs> You're probably going to be taken aback. I'm going to take out another card. You've got the Page of Pentacles. You're going to be the student here. You're going to be learning something because it's just above also the Eight of Pentacles where you're getting paid for your skills, but because you're in a particular industry, you're learning. You're learning something. Um, you may be new into what you're trying to break into. But at the same time, with the Page of Pentacles, the experience is going to help you to gain a lot of wisdom and knowledge. And again, Page of Pentacles, there will be fast messages and then there will be other messages coming along the way later on into the future with the Page of Pentacles because, yeah, Page of Pentacles also can also lead to face-to-face. -to -face. I feel like you might have to travel because I feel like there may be people where they don't want to do Zoom, believe it or not. They want to see what what are you like as a person? What are you, um, can they work with you? That's, that's what I'm picking up here, Gemini. But overall, Gemini, this is fast. Don't forget the Eight of Wands. That's the minor kind of the chariot. There's just this fast energy here. And you may feel, okay, we have more than one option. 
And you may be a little bit overwhelmed because you're afraid to make the, to pick the wrong choice. You cannot make a wrong decision. Like I said before, Gemini, just really ground yourself. But you you have a beautiful reading here. There's so much to look forward to. There's love. There's career. There's travel. There's pregnancy. A boy, I'm seeing. Wow, Gemini, you're going to have a fantastic year. So this is why I love doing the Celtic cross spread. It's a fantastic spread that I absolutely love to do. Gemini, power to you. Have a fantastic day and I'll see you at the next reading. Bye for now.